Carol, the White House this evening approving $60 million to the state of Maryland to help with the initial costs of rebuilding that bridge. But before any construction can begin, crews must safely clear that waterway, an effort that could take weeks. Tonight, stunning new images from on board the crippled container ship. Federal investigators surveying the wreckage, assessing the ship's stability, and examining hazardous materials on board, though officials say there's no threat to the public. All part of a massive operation to refloat the ship and clear this vital port of debris. That is our number one priority, is to reopen the port of Baltimore as fast as we can and do it safely. Multiple large cranes will be used to lift sections of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, but only after the metal has been cut into pieces. This section alone weighs 9 million pounds. The best mines in the world are here, right now, in Baltimore. In the wake of Tuesday's ship crash and bridge collapse, the bodies of two workers, 26-year-old Dorleon Castillo and 35-year-old Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, were recovered inside a submerged pickup. Four others presumed dead remain missing, including Miguel Luna and Maynor Suazo Sandoval. It's believed those workers were where you see those flashing lights as the ship on the right approaches. Officials say police, by blocking traffic on the bridge, not only kept drivers off the structure during the collapse, but also saved countless others afterward from driving into the abyss. Because of safety concerns, officials say dive operations to recover the bodies of those missing workers have been suspended. An engineering analysis is being conducted to figure out how to safely proceed, Rob. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.